Hello, dear students. I'm here to talk about what is CET, what exactly is that exam, and a few guidelines regarding CET I would like to give you to start with this particular module. You remember that in Karnataka, admission for professional colleges will take place because of two exams here. That is, the marks that you obtain in two examination, that is, PU board exam as well as CET exam. This is for the engineering colleges in Karnataka. Okay. Then, suppose you want to go for a medical seat or you want to get a dental seat, then you must remember that the ranks are allotted based on CET scores only. For engineering, it's CET as well as board exam marks. For the medical and dental colleges, it will be allotted based on CET scores only. The eligibility, you remember for the medical, 50% in PCB for general merit student, 40% for OBC or SESC students here. 50% means you got 180 marks in CET, 90 you need to get or 72 out of 180 for OBC as well as SEST students. 45% is the eligibility score for the admission for engineering colleges in Karnataka. Comedy K, okay, that's an exam which is managed by consortium of, uh, you know, private colleges and that will have exams for engineering as well as medical. They are private colleges which is based only on Comet K exam scores only, nothing else. No board exam, nothing is there even for engineering as well as medical. So now by finding the average of PCM marks in PU boards as well as PCM marks in CET, a rank list will be done, okay, and that will be useful in giving the engineering rank there. So this is only for engineering, uh, average of PU board exam out of 50 it has been done and PCM marks also out of 50 has been done and aggregate out of 100 that's been taken and an engineering rank will be given for engineering there. But medical ranking in CET, Comet K only on the marks of CET or Comet K exam in PCB is considered. It is not in PCM, it's PCB is considered. Availability of seats through CET and Comet K, remember. There are 210 plus engineering colleges are there in Karnataka. Plenty of the engineering colleges are there in Karnataka and therefore the number of seats what you got, medical 5000 seats are there, dental 2280 seats are there, okay, then you got engineering nearly 96,000 seats are there. So these are the statistics based on the previous and year before that exams. Please remember that these numbers will not remain stagnant. There is a small variation with the numbers will happen. Sometimes uh, new medical colleges will come, so the number of seats will be more. But this is more or less the statistics I am giving based on the last year and year before's experience there. CET distribution of medical, dental, engineering are approximately enough. Though even though 96,000 seats are there for engineering, but what is coming under CET board or what is coming under government quota, if you observe that, that will be nearly 2,457 seats for medical and 848 seats for uh, one dental and 51,000 odd seats for engineering. This is what you have to understand. Okay, please try to understand this. In out of these seats, 650 seats are kept for NCC students, scouts and guide, defense and ex-defense. And in the case of, uh, you know, the physically challenged students, 64 medical seats, 24 dental and 1,325 engineering seats are reserved for them. This is the way in which the seats has been distributed here. And remaining seats, whatever they are there, they go by this way. General, if you come in the general quota, 50%, SC 15%, SC 3%, okay, group 1, 4%, 2A, 15%, 2B, 4%, 3A, 4%, and 3B, 4%. Each is further divided further into rural quota will be there, and current medium group also will be there. So therefore, you remember that the number of seats which are available goes by this kind of the distribution. Now, medical ranks, okay. Now, what is that I'm trying to tell you here is this. Say, in the case of medical, only PCB scores are considered and this is the last year's performance. Out of 180, if you get 146, combination of physics, chemistry and biology, okay, your rank will be 200. I'll give one more. If at all your score is 133 out of 180, 1000 rank will be obtained. Or if at all you're scoring 130 out of 180, then the rank will be 1,250. Just remember the gap of three marks, 133 and 130. Just observe that previous slide. And in this one, 250 ranks are there. 130 out of 180, 1,250 ranks. And 133 out of 180, 1,000 rank. And therefore, you remember that the competition, what is there for each and every point mark there, no, that's tremendous in CET. So this is what exactly about. And why I'm telling you this one, okay, if at all you are targeting to get a medical seat, remember that 
your ranking should be, if at all you belong to general merit, ranking should be less than 1200. And in this case, your target is 130. Please don't keep that target. Keep it always 10% more than that. And then definitely you will not have to struggle to get the seat. Therefore, please manage this one. Ask your friends, ask your seniors, ask your relatives, ask your friends, whatever you are getting. Those who have gone for counseling, ask them what is their score and ask them where they have landed. And that will give you the idea how exactly I have to prepare. What should be my marks so that I can go into the medical colleges. Oh, look into this one. This is one of the topmost medical colleges in Bangalore, Bangalore Medical College. Look at that. This is the cutoff ranking I'm just giving you. 137 rank if you get under general merit category, then you must remember that you will be getting the seat there. Even if at all you're getting 200 rank, it's a very good rank in the whole state of Karnataka, but you will never be getting that particular seat. But if at all you got certain reservation, you can see that there's always a chance. If you belong to 2B group, 435 if it is all rank, then also you'll land in the prestigious medical college. Like that, each college has got its own cutoff rankings. Please go to the literature that is available and find out which college I want to go, which course I want to go for. And by then, you can understand that what should be my mark. And I've given a chart for you. And based on this particular mark, what's the mark I should get in the board exam? What's the mark I should get in the CET exam? And that's where you have to prepare. This is the initial preparation you need to have by consultation with your friends, okay, your parents and your teachers. And that will give you a, a good idea about what's my preparation all along this particular year. Thank you.